Hi, I'm Kevin Porter, and I'm going to spend the next few minutes introducing you to the latest device in the VIA range. The VIA Go is our pure wireless presentation device. Unlike the rest of the VIA range, the VIA Go is a pure presentation device with no collaboration features. But inbuilt to the device is an internal Wi Fi adapter. This allows us to connect from a secondary network. So we have the VIA Go on a wired connection. Uh, in order to utilize the Wi-Fi adapter of the product, we need to enable the option. So I'm going to plug a keyboard and mouse into the VIA and go into the settings of the VIA Go. We now have a new tab called Wi-Fi and we need to turn this Wi-Fi on. You can see that we create a default SSID and password. We click apply and then we need to restart the unit. So I've been joined by my colleague Nick, and Nick has made a connection wirelessly to the router of this meeting space. My laptop is wirelessly connected to the VIA Go wireless, which we configured a few moments ago. So now we're on both networks. Nick is on one network, I'm on the second network, and simultaneously we can log in and present our screens to the VIA. This is my laptop directly connected to the VIA Go, and this is Nick's laptop connected to the wireless router of the room. As the entry level product to the VIA range, the VIA Go allows two users side by side simultaneously to present to a single screen. So now I've got an iPad which is also connected directly to the VIA Go SSID. I'm going to remove my laptop from the screen and we're going to use the AirPlay capability of the VIA Go to connect my iPad to the main screen. There you can see we have the PC on the wireless router of the room and the iPad AirPlay mirroring from the wireless uh, of the VIA Go. The VIA Go retains the full multimedia capabilities of the rest of the VIA range. This means I can play a video at 1080p 60 frames per second. The quality of this video is regardless of device, whether that be laptop, tablet or mobile phone. Even though the VIA Go is our entry level product, the ability of supporting 1080p at 60 frames per second sets the VIA Go above its competitors. So now we're going to show the capability of streaming video from YouTube through the device. I'm going to remove my laptop from the screen and we can see that we've got a YouTube video playing seamlessly through the laptop presenting to the VIA Go. So we've seen how to connect two separate networks to the VIA Go. One is the hardwired Ethernet, and the second is the inbuilt Wi-Fi adapter acting as a wireless hotspot. Now let's change the condition of the Wi-Fi adapter into client mode for a connection to an external wireless infrastructure. Going into the Wi-Fi settings, we click on client mode and then search for the available wireless networks. Once the VIA Go has found the available Wi-Fi connections, we can choose from the drop down menu the desired wireless network. Typing in the password for the wireless network and then clicking apply. Once the settings have been made, the unit will need to be restarted. This means we no longer need this wired ethernet connection. After configuring the Wi-Fi adapter of the VIA Go for client mode, we're now ready to step in wirelessly using the router of the room. I'm going to step in from my laptop and my colleague Nick will use the Android app and the NFC tag to automatically connect to the VIA Go. Again, we have two devices on two separate networks connecting to the VIA. The VIA Go is quick and easy to set up and is ideal for wireless presentations in small meeting rooms and huddle spaces. For more information, please visit our website. Thank you for watching.